What are you doing? What do you mean you're scared of the skeleton? Look, even if there was a skeleton walking around this house, skeletons aren't scary, they're brilliant. Come on, stop being silly. We've got a big homework question to answer. Hi everyone, it's Beth from Twinkle here. This is my best friend Colin the Learning Monster and we just love answering your big homework questions. Let's get started. Big homework questions. So today's big homework question is, how many bones are in the human body? So inside everybody's body, there is a skeleton. Skeletons have a really important job inside our body because they're basically like a big frame that holds the rest of the body together. If we didn't have skeletons, then we wouldn't be human shaped. We'd be like a big jelly on the floor. Yes, Colin, just like that. Our skeletons do a really important job for our organs. So the organs are different parts of our body that do very important jobs. So things like the heart and the brain and the lungs, they do things that keep us alive. Our skeletons do a really good job of protecting those important parts of our body. Your brain is here inside your skull. This is a very, very thick bone and it protects it really, really well. Other organs like your heart and your lungs, they're in this part of your body. And they're protected by super strong bones called your rib cage. The skeleton also works really hard with another part of our body. These are called the muscles. You might have heard somebody saying that they have really good muscles because they go to the gym, just like Colin here. But our muscles are a little bit more complicated than that. They're made out of a very soft, stretchy kind of tissue. These work with the skeleton to help us move. Even our blood gets help from our bones. Inside of bones, there's a very soft material called bone marrow. And this helps create white blood cells and red blood cells. And this helps to keep our blood healthy. But our big homework question was all about how many bones we have inside our body. Now, this sounds like a pretty simple question, but it's not necessarily easy to answer. Adults like me, who finished doing all of their growing up, they have 206 bones. But here's the question. How many bones do you think a baby has? Well, you might be surprised to find out. It's actually more. Babies are born with 300. Don't worry, you don't somehow lose bones when you're growing up. When you're a baby, a lot of your bones aren't super hard yet. They're made out of a different kind of material. That's called cartilage. And it's a bit softer. And that actually allows your bones to grow. As you get older and as your bones get stronger, some actually start fusing together. So one small bone and another small bone come together and make a brand new bone. So by the time you're grown up, you have got a full grown up skeleton of 206 bones. So another big question is, how do we look after our skeleton? How do we make sure our bones are healthy? One really, really important thing to do to look after your bones is make sure you're eating lots and lots of calcium. Calcium is a mineral that's found in all sorts of different foods. Why don't you have a lovely calcium rich meal like Colin here? Dairy products like milk and cheese and yogurt are absolutely full of calcium. You could also have something like tofu or green vegetables like broccoli. It's also really, really important to remember to keep your bones protected. Bones are pretty strong, but they still can sometimes break and that can be very painful. And also that can stop them from doing what they're supposed to do. If you're gonna be doing a fun activity like riding a bike or a skateboard, it's a really good idea to wear a bike helmet because then if you do fall over and hit your head, then your skull is protected and it can still do its very important job of keeping your brain lovely and safe. Another big homework question answered. Don't forget, Twinkle's fantastic homework help area is there to help you with all your burning big homework questions and Twinkle has got loads of activities so you can practice and keep learning every single day. We'll see you next time. Bye!